Lisa has been cryopreserved in ALCA, a cryopreservation agency in the United States, waiting for her resurrection after 50 years. In 2016, Lisa was urgently admitted to the hospital for emergency treatment due to the metastasis of advanced lung cancer cells. Fluid in the brain, the doctor opened the head to prepare for brain drainage surgery, the result was full of blood. After the operation, Lisa went directly to the intensive care unit. After that, the condition did not improve, and the doctor did not have a treatment plan. Lisa's life was now supported by drugs. Lisa's husband, Jason, learned about cryonics technology at the suggestion of the director of the department. Her husband Jason said, I don't want her to disappear like this. I told her that there is a place where you can go to sleep and have a good night's sleep. When the lung cancer can be cured, we will meet again. And Lisa, who was lying on the hospital bed, also understood her husband's words and gently grabbed her husband's hand. Some people do not understand this, but Jason said that it made him understand life again. The ultimate end of a person's life is death. What will happen to the body after death, and will there be consciousness after death? First let's have a look at the changes that take place after death. One minute after death. Generally, about one minute after death, the body temperature will begin to gradually drop. Generally, if indoors, it can drop at a rate of 0.5 degrees Celsius per hour, and it will generally drop to the same level as the surrounding environment. This process is called corpse cold. At the same time, cells in the human body die and rupture due to lack of oxygen, and the contents of the cells leak. One to three hours after death. About an hour after death, the local joints begin to gradually become rigid in a process called corpse rigor, which can last about 36 hours. The skin appears as dark purple or with dark red scars, also known as corpse spots. In about three hours, the bacteria and microorganisms in the body will begin to corrode the body, giving off a smell like rotten eggs. 24 hours after death, about one day after death, the corpse will begin to turn green, and at the same time, the body will release a large amount of putrid gas, which will increase the internal pressure of the corpse, causing the blood in the body to be squeezed out of the skin surface by the gas, and rotten blisters will appear one to several months after death. Within a month after death, bacteria decompose the body, producing corpse odor and putrefaction bubbles. After a few months, all the soft tissues of the body have almost rotted and liquefied into mud. Hair and nails fall off, leaving only bones, ossification, and then gradually return to nature. Does consciousness still exist after death? At the beginning of the 20th century, a German doctor conducted an investigation on many people who had experienced clinical death, or were hovering on the boundary of life and death in order to find out whether there is still consciousness after death. The first thing they felt was a strong sense of joy. Some may have seen relatives who have passed away, and some say they have seen a red light leading them. But when they woke up, it was very painful. According to people that have suffered cardiac death, but have been brought back to life have said, at that time I could clearly feel that I had left, and then floated in mid-air like a ghost. I could clearly see the doctors and nurses, and the numbers on the machine. I heard the doctors pronounce me dead, I heard the voices of my relatives and friends calling me. In fact, medically, the criteria for determining a person's death are usually divided into three categories. At different standards, the results are also different. Brain death. In simple terms, the entire central nervous system of a person dies, and the entire brain function is lost, and this state is irreversible. It can generally be judged by these six points, entering a deep coma, no voluntary movements and breathing, pupil fixation, loss of brainstem reflexes, straight EEG, and no change for six hours. Clinical death mainly refers to the person's heartbeat and breathing stop, so the reaction disappears, but the body is still undergoing a weak metabolic process. At present, most hospitals declare clinical death. However, 
it does not necessarily cause biological death. If some patients with sudden death with good original organ function can undergo active cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and other operations, some patients may recover. Biological death. The physiological function of the entire body stops and falls into an irreversible state, which is death in a stricter sense. At this stage, the basic human life has completely ended. Dr. Sam Parnia believes that when the heart stops or the breathing stops, the brainstem is not dead, and people are conscious and can listen to the sounds around them. However, this period of consciousness will not stay for too long. After about six minutes, the consciousness will no longer exist because of the lack of oxygen in the brain cells. What happens to the body when it is cremated? Due to the continuation of burial methods, many elderly people cannot accept the cremation of their bodies. For example, a friend's grandmother was always afraid of being cremated after her death, and she felt that she couldn't keep the whole body, so she couldn't go to the ground for safety. But cremation is currently the most popular burial method in the country. What exactly is cremation? Once the body is confirmed to be cremated, the staff will start to check the corpse spots to prevent the body from being cremated before it cools down. After that, they use makeup, and if the death was caused by a car accident or other reasons, it would be stitched and repaired. Afterward, they check whether there are substances such as rubber, plastic, etc., to avoid bringing them into the cremation furnace and polluting the environment after burning. Immediately afterward, the corpse's internal organs will be slashed, which is to prevent the corpse from exploding under air pressure. Once everything is ready, the cremation begins. Step 1. Oiling. Diesel is sprayed on the corpse and the body is incinerated. The amount of diesel used for each corpse shall not exceed 8 kilograms. Step 2. Heating. This process takes 45 minutes to 2 hours. The heating temperature of different parts is different. Generally, the temperature starts from 200 degrees. It needs to rise to 600 degrees to burn human muscles and organs, and it takes about 800-900 degrees to burn bones. During the burning process, you will hear some strange sounds, which are actually caused by physical effects. For example, fat burning will make a sizzling sound, bones will crack and crack, and the limbs will bend under high temperature, and the head will even slightly cocked. Step 3. Ashes. After cremation, bones like the pelvis are not easily burned into ashes. For these hard bones that have not been burned into ashes, the staff will decide whether they need to be mashed according to the needs of the family, and then put them into the urn and finally send them to the urns in the hands of the family. What is beyond death? And what if, when we die we come back to life, but not in a body that we're used to, as something that will exist till the end of time? But that's something for another video. If you did end up enjoying this video, then make sure to leave a like. Also hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to be notified when we upload. Also, go ahead and check out some of our other content on our channel. This is Top Amazing Studio, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.